Hi everyone. In this video, I am doing an after action report of my overnight camping adventure. So stick around. Thanks for sticking around. If this is the first time you're coming across my channel, then welcome to ATOS Outdoors. Um, this channel is about my journey with backpacking, camping, hiking, um, just general adventuring in the area that I live. If that kind of stuff interests you, then uh, please click the subscribe button uh, down here, um, sign, uh, turn the notification bell on, and um, comment below. Let me know that you're a new subscriber. Um, right. With that out of the way, let's get into the, the meat of this video. As you may know from previous, uh, previous videos, um, I did a, this is the stuff I'm bringing with me for an overnight camp adventure. Then I did the, hey, this is the camp adventure. Um, and now this is my kind of debrief. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through everything um, that I took with me and just kind of, uh, just kind of look at it a little, a little clinically. Is there anything I didn't need? Is there any stuff that maybe I'd forgotten? Um, to try and kind of dial in what I'm gonna be taking as my kind of, my base gear loadout. Um, so let's get started. Um, first things first, because they're easy, um, some work gloves for processing wood. Um, they just stop you getting slivers. They do the job, they're light. If I wasn't really making fires, you know, if it wasn't really a campfire kind of thing, I probably wouldn't take these with me. Um, but because we were gonna be having a fire processing wood, these really came in handy. One thing I didn't mention uh, in the first video of this is I didn't really mention any wood processing tools other than my, my camp knife. I hadn't planned on bringing my ax or my saw, but I did end up bringing these. Um, this Baco Laplander is such a handy little tool. I probably didn't really need the ax, it's heavy. Um, we did use it just because we had it. Um, you'll see in the video that I split some wood with it. Probably could have battened it with my knife instead. Um, so hindsight, probably not gonna take the ax, but uh, the Baco, Land La Baco Laplander, it's light, it's easy. Uh, it's easy to carry, doesn't take up much space. This is a really, really handy tool. So this is definitely coming next time. Uh, what else have we got in here? So, uh, water stuff. Um, the Cenoc Vector bladder. This was this was great. Pop the top off, pop it in the river, fills up super quick. Um, it's tough as well for the squeeze um, and the Sawyer squeeze. This was awesome, filtered the water we needed. Um, I had set it up, as you may see from some of the stills, uh, is I had set it up as a gravity system. So I had these... Uh, I had these together hanging off uh, my tripod actually um, and attached my smart water bottle on the bottom. Um, the, that method is quite slow, um, so I did occasionally squeeze it just to get a bit of extra oomph, um, but this, this did the job. And this piece, these, this kit together, um, the three of them, super light, um, definitely, definitely worth it. So to avoid getting sick and to be able to have as much water this was awesome. Okay, on the outside of the pack, I've got my Thermarest Z Light. Um, in hindsight, I probably didn't need to take this. Um, I'm just kind of babying my sleep pad a little bit, um, my inflatable sleep pad, which we'll get to. So this may have been extra weight. That being said, it's not that heavy, but ounces make pounds so I don't think it was really necessary. Um, one thing someone mentioned in the forum is that um, I could have done away with the Z seat that I have and used this to double up instead and I mean if I'd been sitting on this it would have been much comfier than the uh, the log and the Z seat that I was sat on so something to consider um, so this is, this maybe doesn't need to come with me. This is kind of me packing my fears a little bit and wanting to really baby my gear. Um, so this one is probably a no, I think. 
Now let's look in here. So uh, Camp Knife, this is my Buck Reaper. Um, I love this. This comes with me all the time. It's super cool. Um, and I'm, it makes me feel like a man having a knife on my belt. So this is coming with me. <laughs> okay, in here I think is my cook kit and fire starting stuff. Um, I have these in here just as a prop really, but the, the mountain house uh, food, uh, sorry, the Alpine air food that I brought with me, uh, the creamy beef noodles, actually really, really good. Really, really nice. Beef, mushrooms, pasta, um, rich cream sauce. Ugh, they were they were lovely. And um, the strawberry granola in the morning was was beautiful. Really, really good. So I love these. If you're uh, if you're interested in trying these out, they're definitely worth it. Okay. Um, what else have we got in here? Um, so my stove. Um, we've got the canister here and the stove itself. Um, can't, what's the point of bringing this without this? What's the point of bringing this without this? One person did mention not necessarily needing to take the case. Um, it's a little bit of extra weight. Again, it comes down to me babying my gear. So maybe no case and I can find, uh, maybe wrap this up in my schmog or something. Or if I do include a little dish towel in here, maybe a microfiber, then I can wrap this in the microfiber. So uh, for cooking out on the trail, I swear by this. So that's awesome. Definitely going to be coming again. Um, my fire kit, um, as you'll see from the video, I was using uh, I was going to use moss. It was just a little too damp. So I ended up uh, roughing up some jute twine that I had, and that took that took brilliantly. So um, the fire kit has my ferro rod, my lighter, has some uh, stormproof matches. It also has a boatload of fat wood that I recently come across. I'm probably going to do a separate video on this because it's cool. Um, I had some mosquito coils in a citronella candle. Didn't use the citronella candle. Haven't found them to be too effective probably going to drop that, although having a candle of some sort can definitely help. Um, I also have some uh, wooden fire lighter blocks in here. Again, didn't really need them. Erring on the side of caution. Maybe take them if it's wet, but not if it's going to be nice weather. And not if it's not rained recently. So if it's been dry, probably don't need them. If it's been wet, they might be a good bonus. But with the amount of fat wood I have, probably not going to need them. Right, what else have we got in here? Um, my little collapsible cup. Um, it's handy, I didn't use it. I, uh, I drank coffee out of my cook pot and I ate out of the bag and um, one of my buddies had some ginger ale. I had a can of that and drank it out of the can because I was like, well, what's the point of getting this dirty? So maybe, maybe don't need that. So I have, this is my little snack. So I have some um, Nature Valley bars. I have some hot chocolate. Um, I have some tang in here. Um, the water we were filtering was absolutely beautiful, um, so the tang isn't really necessary. Um, I didn't end up having a hot chocolate. I was pretty content at the end of the night. Um, and the Nature Valley bars, I have since replenished them in here, so I, I had them when I was when I was snacky. So yeah, snacks and things, great. Um, maybe I don't need to bring three hot chocolates because my friends were quite happy drinking instead of having hot chocolate. And I didn't even have hot chocolate, so what's the point? My light my fire spoon fork thing. Um, again, someone else has pointed this out that a long handled one of these is much better when you are eating these because you can't really reach the stuff with one of these without getting your hand in. So what I do or have been doing is opening this up and kind of folding it down. Um, that way I can I can get better access. Um, but I have just purchased a uh, titanium or aluminum, aluminium, um, long-handled spork. So I will be using that in future. This is nice, handy to have, but uh, maybe good for stirring coffee. But it, it did the job, but I've replaced it with something longer so I don't get dirty hands. Okay. So that was, uh, that was food stuff. Oh, I suppose one other thing. 
one other thing to mention is the Tokes Titanium Pot. This it did exactly what it was supposed to. It boiled my water, it's done a great job. Um, it's 750 mils, so it can easily boil enough water for a uh, for one of the meals. So yeah, this is, this is great, will be coming with me. Um, what else? Let's look at this one. So this is hygiene and things and lights and electronics. Um, lantern, we didn't end up using. Um, we had the fire, I had my headlamp as well. Um, if we didn't have a fire, lantern, yes, but we did have a fire, so probably don't need this. If I was uh, backpacking in the traditional sense and not having a fire, this might be nice to have around camp. If I was by myself, this would have been good. I could have hung it up in my tent if I was in my tent uh, and reading. So solo, yes. Group, planning a fire, probably no. Headlamp, absolutely. This was great. Um, when I did wake up in the middle of the night, I woke up about 3 a.m. It was uh, it was actually bright enough to see. It was a, quite a clear night, um, so I didn't need this. Um, again, with the fire, didn't need it. But it's always a good thing to have in case it's super dark or or you don't have a fire, whatever. So headlamp, absolutely, absolutely taking this again. I'm not scared of the dark or anything. I just like having light. Uh, microfiber towel. It's a big, 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 big microfiber towel. Like go swimming, get changed, wrap it around your waist towel. So it might be overkill. Um, but as we were swimming in the lake and it was freezing, this was great to have afterwards and hanging it up. Um, it dried overnight. It was great. Uh, comfort item. If I'm not swimming, um, I probably can take a much smaller one of these. Um, but it was, it was great to have regardless. Uh, my schmog, as I said uh, in my previous video, um, I didn't take, I didn't plan on taking any sleep clothes, and that's something I'll, I'll come on to in a minute. Um, but I did have the schmog with me initially. I had it over my pillow just to be a, a little softer on the face, and I ended up wrapping it around my head because I didn't bring a toque or any headwear or a buff or anything, which was kind of stupid on my part because I have a buff. And I should have just brought it away next to nothing. So this uh, this was great. Future, probably just a buff if I'm concerned about weight, but this was handy. And this can double up as the towel, or likewise, I could have used the towel instead of this. So these are probably uh, one, not the other. What else? Hygiene kit. Um, brush my teeth. Put sunscreen on before, so didn't need it. Uh, mosquito repellent didn't, uh, sorry, mosquito repellent we did use. Um, after bite, because I react terribly to mosquito bites. After bite didn't use. Chapstick didn't use. Um, and the deodorant stick here, I should have probably checked it before I left, but it had crumbled into pieces, so I didn't use it. I was, uh, you know, we kind of, when we swam, we kind of washed a bit of the stink off us, and the next day came home, had a shower, so no drama. I know everyone says embrace the stink, um, so I'm probably going to be able to whittle this down a little bit. And the last couple of things in here, wet wipes. Didn't use them. I had actually forgotten about them. Um, I didn't really get too messy. And like I said, we swam. So maybe for a longer trip, these would come in handy. Um, but didn't really need them. My power bank here. Um, it is pretty big. And it's a 20,000 milliamp. So this will charge an iPhone th four times-ish. So a bit overkill for what I had, but I don't have anything smaller. Um, and I definitely did run the battery down filming on the first day, um, charge the, and then I charge, used this to charge overnight. So this will still be coming with me unless I get a smaller one. Um, certainly filming uh, can really sap the battery on phones. Okay, next up. So this was my uh, sleep system and my clothing. So as I said at the end of the last video, I didn't end up taking the mountain house 
um, mummy sleeping bag with me um, and I replaced it with some clothes. So um, I just have basic pajama pants, a t-shirt um, and some socks. Those were great, they kept me, um, they kept me nice and warm. As I said, it did turn out to be quite a cold night. They're probably dipping down to uh, four or five degrees C. So a little chilly, um, but I survived managed to get through and, and kind of learned a lesson there to make sure bring spare clothes and uh, don't forget a toque to keep this covered. Jungle blanket kept me warm, may have been a little on the cooler side. As I said, it did do its job. I was pretty, pretty content in this. Um, so yeah, I would I would actually say this this did a good job. Um, maybe just to, for me to be a little bit more conscious over the um, over the temperatures at night, this um, this can be a bit cold. So I feel like the mummy bag may have been too hot. This eh, I don't know. I was happy with it, but it's something just to put a bit more thought into before I go out. If I am going to use this, then I do need to make sure I have those sleep clothes. Um, socks, toque, top and bottoms. Um, I'd like to get hold of some merino wool base layers that I can use as sleep clothes. Um, that's maybe something down the line, um, potentially after the summer, we shall see. But that was, that was great. Um, and then lastly, the last thing I think I've got in here um, is just my tent. And the tent did a fantastic job. Uh, in the morning, there was quite a lot of condensation. We were meters away from the, uh, the lake shore, so it's kind of to be expected. Uh, we're also in a rainforest, so it's kind of pretty humid. Um, in the morning, I just took off the, uh, the rain fly, hung it over a bush inside out. It dried out really, really fast. Um, so that was great. The tent, it, it did a great job. Um, one thing that I did notice, so obviously when I used the tent for the very first time camping indoors, um, I didn't need any guy ropes. Out here, I put the guys on the corners and the very back of the tent, so opposite to the door, um, there is a, um, a, a loop for a tent peg, but I don't know if I'd set up the tent a bit funny. I don't think I did. I think maybe the tent peg plus the ground we were in, it just didn't fit too well. So I actually ended up carving a, uh, a stick probably about that long. So two or three times the length of the tent peg to anchor that in, to pull it away from the tent, to give a bit more, um, bit more space for ventilation and for the uh, condensation to drain off. So that's something to consider for me for the future is depending on the ground that I'm gonna be camping on. Um, and that can be difficult to figure out beforehand, especially if you're hiking something new. Um, but that is something to consider and having my knife with me, obviously, then I could just shave a stick down, a uh, whittle a stick down into a tent peg. So um, that was that. I think that's everything. Um, oh, and I guess lastly, um, I have my bear spray here. I've just looped it around one of my... Uh, the. I think this is actually an attachment for holding trekking poles. Um, bear spray... We didn't encounter any bears. Um, I didn't need to use that, but I had it. And I guess it's just, a, I'd rather have it and not need it than not have it and need it. Um, although I would say we're pretty unlikely to get attacked by black bears out here. Um, peace of mind, really. And while it is a little heavy, I'd rather have it, as I said. So, um, so overall, um, it was a great trip. It, we didn't park too far away from where we camped, so that really does change things. This was probably closer to car camping than, um, you know, backpacking, really. So um, I don't have the weight of this altogether. Um, it was comfortable when I had it on. At no real point was I getting sore. Um, but again, didn't really didn't really clock up the, the kilometers there. So um, I think if I'm gonna be hiking, if it's gonna be hiking and backpacking multi-days, um, I can probably look at um, cutting a fair few of these pieces out because I will have more food with me, of course. Um, but for what we did, for the trip we did, it was it was absolutely fine. Um, like I said, a few things I'm going to cut down. So maybe don't need a schmog and a towel. Maybe don't need the, the Z-Lite. 
uh, Thermo Rest as well as the Z Seat. Um, so I've, I've definitely got a few things to think about for the future. Also, temperature is something I'm going to need to keep in mind. Uh, all of the trips last summer, I can just remember being really, really hot all the time. So that's what spurred the purchase of the blanket. This trip was probably, it's, it was a good month earlier than trips last year as well. So we haven't quite got into the, um, the summer weather, if you will. Um, so temperatures are something for me to consider. Um, and again, wood processing, what I really, really need. Um, and just kind of taking a page out of some of the ultralight backpackers out there and just really thinking about each piece of gear, um, whether I need it or not. And as I, as I kind of said at the beginning of this video, um, there's a lot of I've got a lot of experience with the with the watching videos on YouTube, watching the gear videos, watching the professionals go out and do it. Um, and so this is this is the start of kind of my adventure into into backpacking and hiking and camping um, solo and with friends. Um, but it's giving me especially creating content like this. It's giving me that opportunity to really think a little bit more about the gear that I'm bringing with me. So just be, I guess for anyone out there in the same situation as me, be a bit thoughtful. Give yourself a gear shakedown beforehand, review afterwards what you did use, what you didn't use, was anything excessive, Was did you bring too much of, you know, whatever. Just really think through um, what you've used. And uh, another thing that I discovered, I posted this on the Homemade Wanderlust Backpacking Forum, or rather I posted my first video on there, and um, had some experienced uh, people comment. So thank you uh, to those that did, you know who you are. Um, thank you to those that did, um, you have helped influence me um, and you've taught me some things just in, in this brief little interaction. So thank you for that. Well, that is the end of this video. Um, thanks for watching, guys. If you did enjoy the content, please uh, click the subscribe button down over here. Um, leave me a comment. What do you think about, uh, about what, I, what I took with me, about the, the kind of analysis at the end of it? Um, what would you do differently? What do you do? Um, are there any glaring errors that I made? Let me know down below. Let's get a little bit of a conversation going. Um, thank you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.